So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple discounted cash flow analysis and calculate a net present value in Excel uh, two different ways. So we're going to go through two different ways of calculating the net present value. One way will be basically by brute force, which will show you how to calculate the, the present discounted value of costs and benefits in each year and then you add them up by brute force to get NPV. The second way is using a built-in function in Excel called the PV function. So we're going to go through both of these. Um, the example or the situation that we're going to use is um, a power plant. So we have a, an example of a hypothetical power plant. Okay, and it has some capital cost, so some cost to build, and it has some, and then once it's built, it has some annual costs and revenues. And so the question is, in present value terms, does this plant make any money? Does this plant pass the cost-benefit test? Okay, are, are the present discounted value of all of the benefits equal, or all of the revenues really? equal to the present discounted value of all of the costs. Or are they bigger or are they small? Okay, so uh, I'm going to start off by typing in some numbers here. Um, and this spreadsheet will also be posted up on Angel if you want to take a look at it. So I'm going to assume that the capital cost is $500,000. Okay, so that's how much it costs to build the plant. Okay, I'm going to assume that the interest rate here is 10%. I'm going to assume that the relevant decision horizon here is five years. Okay, so that's the time period over which we're evaluating the profitability of the plant. I'm going to assume that its annual output is 4,500 megawatt hours of electrical energy. Okay. I'm going to assume that its variable cost, so the cost to produce one megawatt hour, is $60. And so the total annual operating cost, where I hear written total variable cost, is going to be equal to $60 per megawatt hour times the number of megawatt hours. Okay, and so what we get is $270,000 per year. That's how much it costs to operate this plant, assuming that it produces 4,500 megawatt hours each year. Okay, so the sales price for each megawatt hour I assume is going to be $90 per megawatt hour. And so then we can calculate the annual revenue is equal to the sales price, $90 per megawatt hour times the number of megawatt hours. And so what we get is annual revenues of $405,000 per year. The, the stuff below the cost and revenue figures in the spreadsheet is uh, the this is basically the ca a, a simple version of the cash flow balance sheet for this power plant. Okay, so you have uh, a column for capital cost, a column for operating cost, a column for revenue, a column for the annual undiscounted cash flow, okay, or the net benefit, a column for the discounted cash flow, and then a column here which I have labeled as cumulative net present value, which just show which will show the the overall net present value of this power plant after each year. Okay, and we have year zero, so the current year, all the way down through five years from now. Okay, so now we have to fill in this table with numbers. So the capital cost, okay, we assume is incurred only in year zero. So you only have to spend money this year to build the plant. Okay? So that's going to be equal to minus five hundred thousand dollars. 
you have to be a little careful here when you're doing these things in Excel, in Excel that costs you have to be careful that costs are negative numbers and revenues are positive numbers. Otherwise, Excel will mess up your calculations because it doesn't know which one is which. Okay, So this plant has a capital cost of $500,000 in year zero and then no capital cost in years one through five. Okay, So we're, we're going to assume here that the plant is built in year zero and operates in year one through five. So in each of years one through five, we're going to have an operating cost equal to minus $270,000. And that's going to be the same for each year. Revenues in each year are going to be equal to positive $405,000. And those are going to be the same for each year. Oops. So the annual undiscounted cash flow is going to be the sum of capital cost, operating cost, and revenue for each year. So I'm going to use the sum function here in Excel, okay, summing over those three columns, and then, so this, in undiscounted terms, this plant costs the owner $500,000 in the first year and then brings in benefits equal to $135,000 a year for five years. So now we need to discount this. Okay, so remember that to discount some future value back to the present, we take that future value and divide by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the teeth power, where t is the year that we're talking about. Okay, so we're going to take this and then divide it by 1 plus, and I'm going to lock this cell by putting dollar signs around it. Okay raised to the zeroth power. Okay, and so this is just going to give us minus $500,000 because we're raising something to the zeroth power, so it's just going to be one. Okay, so and then in this cell here, we have next year's future value of $135,000 discounted by one year. Right, so this is $135 that we would enjoy in one year, and that's equivalent to $122,727.27 this year. We can do the same thing for years two through five. Okay. Okay, so what the discounted cash flow column tells us is the present discounted value of each year's costs and benefits. Okay. What we sometimes want to know is after some number of years, how is the plant doing? What are, what are its cumulative present discounted costs and benefits up to that year. Okay, so to do that, we start with year zero, which is minus $500,000. Okay, and then the cumulative net present value of the power plant after the first year is equal to its net present value after zero years, or minus 500000 plus whatever the present discounted value of the first year's net revenues are. Okay. The cumulative net present value in year two is equal to whatever the, whatever the plant was worth cumulatively at the end of year one, 
you know, which would be this $377,272.73, plus its the present discounted value of its net revenues in year two. And we keep going here. What we find is that at the end of year five, the plant, the at the at the at the end of year five, in present discounted value terms, the plant is worth eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty one cents. Okay, so that's the same thing that you would get if you were to add up all of the discounted cash flows. So I'll do that here. Okay, so if you add up all of the discounted cash flows, right, um, just following the formula that was in the reading and in the, and in the lecture notes, okay, you'll get the same thing as if you count as what you would get in year five if you calculated the cumulative net present value of this plant after every year. So that's how you would use Excel to calculate uh, the net present value or to do what we call discounted cash flow analysis by brute force. Okay, so what we did was we figured out the costs and revenues each year in these cells over here, calculated the undiscounted cash flow, okay, discounted appropriately back to present value terms, and then added everything up. In Excel, there's a way to do this with a shortcut, okay, without having to, um, without without having to do all of these calculations manually, and it is called the p the present value or PV function. Okay, and so the way that you would call the PV function is to type equals PV. Okay, and then parentheses, and then the first thing that it asks you for is the annual interest rate, okay, the number of periods, okay, and then the, and, and then the uh, undiscounted cash flow each year in years uh, 1 through T, so here in years 1 through 5, okay? So, I'm going to give it that, okay? One of the things about using the PV function is that it does not understand year 0, so it, it, it does all of its discounting starting from year 1, and so you have to then have to add in year zero, okay, oops, and the other thing about the, the PV function is that it assumes that all numbers are negative, so you have to uh, put a negative in front of the PV sign, and when you do that, you will see that you get the same answer that we did using the brute force method. Okay, there's another function, okay, called NPV, which you can use to in much the same way that you use PV, except uh, you would use NPV when your annual undiscounted cash flows are not the same in every year. Okay, here, in our example here, the annual undiscounted cash flows were basically the same every year. Okay, so the way that you call, so here I'll, I'll label this. Okay, so the way that you call this is NPV. Okay, and then um, the the discount rate, and then your stream of 
future undiscounted cash flows. Okay, and just like the PV function, the NPV function does not understand year zero, so you have to add in anything in year zero separately, and you get exactly the same answer.